Hi Year 6, welcome to a new week of online learning and today we are looking at formal letter writing. Okay, so your task is to write a persuasive letter to the government about having checks at airports for the coronavirus. At present, the UK has no checks. So you need to look at the article below and kind of get some insight into what other countries are doing and think about what you, you would like the UK to do to ensure that we are safe when people are traveling across to different countries and coming in from different countries as well. Um, so maybe make some notes while you're reading the article to get some ideas. Please use the link above and then also research on the internet um, to give you more ideas. You can also have a look at examples of people's opinions, um, what letters might have already been sent to the government. You might be able to research that on the internet and maybe have a look at some examples of other formal letter writing. I have put some exam an example of a layout for a letter on the website in the English section. So here is your success criteria for a formal letter. In your formal letter, you need to have included an address, a date, a greeting and a sign off and make sure they're all correctly placed. If you have a look at the example, which is on the website, you will see very clearly where everything has to be positioned. In the first paragraph, you need to tell us who the writer is and explain the reasons for writing. So that means you need to explain who you are and why you are writing this letter. In the middle paragraph, you need to provide more necessary information. So why is it so important to you that you have written this letter? Why is it so important that something is done? What is the main point that you are trying to put across? Make sure your letter states clearly what you would like the recipient to do. So you're writing to the government. What action do you want, to want them to take as a result of your letter? Make sure you're using standard English. Remember, no slang, no contractions. We need to focus on writing in a more standard style. Pick the correct vocabulary. Ensure that it is a formal letter. OK, so it needs to be in a formal tone. Remember, you're writing to somebody that you don't know. You need to make sure you're using appropriate greeting and sign off. So dear and then the name and then your sincerely. So you need to make sure that you're writing both of those to sign off your letter. And obviously, we need to make sure that we're using paragraphs um, all the time correctly. With a letter, to make it easier to read, it would be good to leave a line between each paragraph just to make it clearer. We look forward to seeing your letters. And a big well done to those children who have sent work through to me. Really, really impressed. Keep it up.